<laughs> All right, so check it out. I know some of you guys are asking about the settings, right? So the settings that I use when I'm playing Division. Um, settings can be a little bit different for everybody depending on um, your monitors and things like that and, and so on and so forth. Um, so kind of just running through the settings real quick. Um, some use uh, metric, other use imperial. Uh, just depends on how you want it, whether you want it to show feet or whether you want it to show metric. Uh, or uh, meters, uh, how far something is, completely up to you when you want to go from there. Uh, vault indicators, completely up to you. Um, show the cover indicators, whether you want to go in a cover, out of cover. Once again, it just kind of adds to the, the I'm going to play the game, the realistic feature of the game, so on and so forth. Um, all of that is up to you as well. Um, on call status, you ain't seen no wings on my character. So if you're out there and you're trying to help out other agents across the world and they're asking for help, mission or whatever the case is, turn that on. If you want to have it to where um, no one's calling you and asking you for help, turn it off, put it on none. Um, the auto hide feature, all, all of these things here are meant to make it so I can go into my menu faster and out of my menu faster. Um, the hints don't need hints where we're all vets, we know what we're doing. Uh, the damage numbers, we want to see that, right? Um, showing the radar, have that radar on. And I'm gonna show you something that I do special with the radar for myself. Uh, that way you guys can also see that and how to do that if you wanna do it yourself or try it out. Um, connectivity, that way we know whether we're in East, West, Central, Europe, you know, whatever type of server going from there. Um, player levels, that's up to you. Once again, it's just preference. Um, the menu glitch, turn it off. Stroke uh, effect, turn it off. Um, auto group refill, keep it on. Um, skills, once again, preference. You want to be able to, to look and see what skills your, your teammates are running, make sure they're not running some boo-boo shit, or maybe you want to look and be like, yo, hey, change that, put this on, you know, say to compensate for the team and so forth. That's where that comes in. When it comes to the skill cooldowns, um, once again, preference, whether you want to see the bar transitioning up or you want to see a countdown, be able to, hey, look, three seconds, I'll have my pulse, things like that. Um, as they got a photo mode, yes, have that turned on. Because if you're getting shot while you're in the photo mode, you want it to pull you out of there real quick. That way you can go and engage your target. Uh, the GPS line, keep it on. I mean, unless you know exactly where you're going, um, the GPS line will definitely help you out there. Uh, signature, we signature weapon swap effect, turn it off. That way you can bring the weapon out uh, and put it away faster without it doing the brrrr because you're bringing out a signature weapon. Like, it's so amazing. Um, additional field of view. This is one that's very, very important. Um, I'm gonna give you two settings when it comes from this. Additional field of vision, 25. Doesn't matter what platform you are, turn it on to 25, right? When it comes to the, the aiming, right? But the way you guys have been seeing me play, I'm playing it on 25. You can turn this one down, reason being is for your aim. If you want when you ADS to give you more of that zoom effect, crank that shit down, put it on zero. And it's a kind of a cool feature. However, the problem is when you go to start strafing in and out of people, that's where it becomes a problem. The minute you go to ADS, now you lost all peripheral vision. So keeping it on 25, you don't get that zoom effect when you ADS. Um, you might get a very slight one, but it's not as drastic. So that's kind of preference for yourself. Try it a couple different ones, see what works for you. You know, from zero, maybe go to 15 and then take it to 25 and kind of go from there, right? Motion sickness, that's up to you. If you get that kind of emotion sickness uh, feeling, turn it on, see if it helps you out. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys watching, you guys see I like to strafe a lot. And so it it can get a little little woozy, you know, say rocking the boat a little bit. Turn that on if you need to. Um, tutorials, turn it off. It gets annoying, them constantly popping up when you're trying to just go into your menu or you're going to a new area, or whatever the case is, just turn it off, right? Um, UI, so talked about the map. With the map, right? As you see, my map is down here at the very bottom of the screen right there right so i can move my map normally it's up here but i move it down here in the middle right why do i do that when i'm moving around my character so let me go back out of here i'm moving around my character my vision my focus is right there in the middle right so if i have to look for my map and then granted the size of my screen i have a 32 inch curved monitor I am now turning my head to do this, look at the map, taking my, my sight off of whatever may be right in front of me, and then look back down. I might be making it sound drastic. However, that's why it's in the middle. All my focus is right there. I can see someone's in front, left, right, back, whatever, right there next to me. My camera or my all my information I need is right there in the center of my screen, right there next to my character. Easy enough, boom, done. You wanna move the rest of the stuff around on the screen, you can. 
uh, if I want to go over here and I want to move where my teammates are at, right? Select it. I can move it. If I, I want to move them over here and, and have it, you know, like, hey, these are the, my teammates and so on and so forth. Up to you. Completely, like I said, it's all preferential uh, where you want to move your stuff and, and go from there, right? Um, in the UI settings, you have the colorblind mode uh, for the color buttons. Just leave it on classic. Um, the floating numbers, when you're doing damage, you want to see how much damage you're doing. It's much easier to have it on floating. Uh, that way, the numbers just pop up right there in front of you, single straight file line. Um, on PC, you guys have it differently, so you can have it show up on floating, um, and you can also have it show up in the scrolling text that would be showing up right above my head um, on my camera monitor here um, for the global text. You can have it showing up there. Um, if you're a PVE or you're doing speed runs, you can turn this on here. That way, you can get a timer already on the game, so you can kind of keep pace of your, your squad, see where you guys are at. Um, active talents above uh, the crosshairs, up to you. Um, if you want to have it on or off, um, it goes from there. Um, audio settings, that's more or less up to you. Adjust your audio how you need, uh, so on and so forth, make the down, game sound right. Um, controls, um, a lot of this is gonna be preferential as well. Obviously, some of my stuff is gonna be a little bit different for some people, um, but I think right now I have mine set on the real basic settings because I myself got reset and I had to go back in here and change it. So parkour, um, that's up to you. Um, how you wanna have the, uh, for the parkour. If you want to auto jump over things, that's up to you. I would just suggest to not have this there. Right, camera settings. When it comes to your controller settings for the camera, have this at 20. Doesn't matter what platform you're on. If you're on PC, obviously your mouse and, uh, mouse and keyboard, you can be using something a little bit different with your DPI uh, and the mouse sensitivity. Um, that's a little bit different. The next time I'm on a PC, I can do something along those lines, but I'm obviously, I'm not the guy to really be asking about that because I'm not a mouse and keyboard player. I am a controller player. So for controller settings, put this at 20. When it comes to your aim sensitivity, this one here, a lot of people are gonna be, it's gonna be very controversial. Some will tell you, put it all at 20. Right, as someone brand new, I will tell you, do not put it all the way to 20. Put it to maybe 10. Hell, maybe even seven. You want to have a little bit, of, have it be a little bit faster so you can start getting used to it. Put it there, and then slowly, gradually move yourself up. Now, for myself, someone that has played the game since day one, mine is still not at 20. The reason why is because when I beam out, I want to be able to control my stops and be able to dial it in a lot better. So that's why I have mine at 15. It's a lot easier for me personally to be able to control the sticks because of my controller or whatever the case is and keeping it at 15. So once again, completely up to you. If you're the guy that wants to be able to be a lot faster and you can move it a lot faster then go from there, turn it up to 20, go from there. Scope sensitivity, just leave it at five. Um, vibration completely up to you whether you want it on or off. Um, button layout, uh, once again, completely up to you. I have mine on default. Um, Here's something I've just noticed. That's why I'm strafing so weird right now. Dead zones should be at zero. Mine's at six. Mine was, that's, that's why it's been so rough for me to strafe. Uh, didn't even realize it because like I said, all my stuff got updated. Uh, whatever they do, the patches and things like that, for whatever reason, it goes in here and it throws all yourself back to default. So throw your dead zones down to zero. If you've got a messed up controller, go in there and adjust it. Um, vertical axis, all that stuff, leave that shit off. Um, the 180 degree spin, um, up to you whether you want to have that on. Um, it might fuck with your strafing, so I just say leave it off. Um, auto look to center, up to you if you want that on. Um, toggle to sprint, I have it on. Um, enable auto run, I have it on. Makes it easy uh, for me to tap in my button, whether it be on the, uh, the toggle stick or the uh, my pad on the back of the controller. Um, moving out of cover, once again, preference, I have mine on. Uh, moving around uh, with a press of a button, no. I had to make sure I can move and not have to worry about pressing a button, move around the corner. Moving speed, I have it at, uh, slow right now. Um, that way I can control being in and out of cover, so on and so forth. Um, aim assist, up to you whether you want to have it on or off. Right now mine is on. Uh, grenade aim assist on. Um, hold the aim, yes. You don't want to have it to where you're toggling your aim and toggling it on or off. Um, I'll hold it to if I'm ADSing, I'm ADSing, I'm ADSing as soon as I let go. Um, cancel skill while aiming, so if you want to cancel skill, I definitely say have that on. Um, and then enter the cover with the long press. Once again, preference whether you want to have that on or not. If you notice yourself going into cover too easily because you're one of the type of people that likes to roll um, instead of strafing, that might be something that you, you do. Uh, a long press to go into cover. Um, graphics wise, once again, it's going to be all preferential because of your monitors and, and TVs, whatever you guys are playing on. Completely up to you. One of the things you guys do see me do when I go into uh, my menu a lot of time when I'm in game is the sun. Sometimes the sun is so bright you can't see shit. By adjusting the natural lighting, um, up or down, whether off or on or off, I'm able to control that sunlight and be that way I can actually see farther. 
So this is one of the things you guys see me going to my menu. I just not do it real quick, and then I come right back out. That way I can go back and engage in the fight. Um, nighttime, I usually have to have this off. That way it's brighter at night. That way I can see further, so on and so forth. This is pretty self-explanatory. Boy, not gonna really go over it. That's completely up to you. Um, headset, all that stuff, so on and so forth. Um, accessibility. This one here, I'm gonna go over just real quickly here. That's a lot of stuff to be preferential for you. Uh, the on-screen keyboard, yes. Um, have that on that way you can talk to your uh, teammates so on and so forth um, text to speech that's up to you um, so the text uh, for the the chat yes of course when it's active uh, menu narration um, no to worry about that colorblind mode colorblind mode this one is a very very important one um, I am not colorblind but there's a reason why a lot of players have their stuff on a colorblind mode they have it either on the uh, deuteranopia uh, tritanopia um, or protanopia I have mine on Protanopia because the colors look very close or similar to the way that they're supposed to be looking. Um, and the reason being that the reason why we have this here, going out here real, real quick to show you what this is all about. When I go outside and when you're doing things such as you're having a hive um, or whatever the case is. Um, oh, face, do me a favor, drop your hive out here. Never mind, you just left the group. No, no, no. I'll, I'll come out real quick. All right, so as you see with my grenade, you see the lines. Uh, with the grenades and the lines that I have there, um, I'm able to see where the grenade is going to engage, right? At the same time, too, O face there, I can see that hey, he's dropped a hive. I'm, I'm standing here thinking that I might be in a hive. I'm actually not. By having that on, now I know that just right here alone, I'm in the hive. I'm able to see the full circumference of the hive, so on and so forth. Um, with skills, not just really to matter too much, but I'm able to see everything because of having uh, the colorblind mode on. Um, yes, when it comes to a lot of my stuff or my, my build, things are gonna look a little differently. The, the reds, the oranges, whatever, uh, from the exotics. This, some people call it blue, some call it green, call it teal, whatever the case is. It looks a little different, but there's still that uh, difference between everything on the build, so on and so forth, right? That's why we have that turned on there. Um, so once again, give it a shot. A lot of the more veteran players, that's one of the things that we do have, we definitely have turned on. Um, the rest of this, like I said, it's gonna be up to you. Uh, lastly, language. Once again, you can adjust yourself for your own language. Um, me, normally I have mindset weird because obviously we've been playing a game. Um, so dialogue language for me is in Japanese, um, normally. And the rest of this is completely up to you how you want to have this set up. So I've gone over the basic settings for what most people are going to be doing in the game. It's just completely up to you guys on how you utilize it and how you want to make it work. But just know that the settings that work for me may not exactly work for you, but you know what settings to kind of go in there and what they're going to be doing, the functionality and so on and so forth. That's it, guys.